Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 74 here, bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and welcome to game number five. If you guys missed out on game number four, make sure you go back into my video so you guys can see it and see how my team acted as one. And by the way, there's a lot of new players that have added, you know, which is uh, Doug Martin, uh, Marshawn Lynch, Demarius Thomas, Luke Keekley, Levante David, Anthony Barr. All of them are new, and they finally came together on my previous gameplay. So make sure you search it through my videos and watch that gameplay. It was just tremendous. They shut down my opponent 21 to 0, or 20 to 0, 23 to 0, I believe, because I did a field goal at the end. So it was 23 to 0. It was a hell of a match, so I suggest to go back. Now, before we talk about gameplays, I want to I want to highlight some certain players. My key players of this gameplay was Doug Martin, Marshawn Lynch. That's it. <laughs> so the running back party is still is still going on. I'm surprised. I'm like, damn. If I would have had these two guys on season two, imagine how many yards I would have got. Because <laughs> damn. This newly improved offense is just amazing. It's just tremendous. Everything's happening for me. Look at all these runs. All of them on first down, and I'm getting like 10 to 20 yards, 8 yards, all positive yardage. I'm like, this is just one hell of a, a running team. It really is. If you were to hold my running team, you'll be like, damn, you know, how the hell did you race this? Just doing solo challenges, not using real money. And so that's another thing I want to mention to you guys. I don't use real money to buy cards, so do not worry. I'm not cheating. Everything is done by soul challenges. And however I want to get the coins off. Like, I have to get it by playing games and by playing soul challenges. Anyways, my opponent, the only notable players on my opponent's team was Marshall Lynch and quarterback George Blonda. The problem with George Blonda is that um, he's worse than Peyton Manning. He should have signed Peyton Manning over George Blonde if he wanted a pocket passer. Now, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm giving you guys a tip. If you want a pocket passer with a powerful arm, sign in Peyton Manning. Do not waste 80,000 coins on George Blonde because that's how much that guy goes for, I, th I believe. Or maybe like for 16,000. Oh, and by the way, out of the way, kick return touchdown. Amazing with Joe McKnight. And... That's a weird sight because Joe McKnight is slower than CJ Spiller. CJ Spiller has 96 speed, 95 acceleration, and yet he scores a touchdown. And Joe McKnight has like 94 speed, 93 acceleration, and yet he scores. I'm like, damn. That was just tremendous. Cordell Patterson with a nice jump catch right there. So yeah, for those of you guys who want to sign in a pocket passer, make sure you sign in Peyton Manning. That's your main target. If you guys want a scrambler, there's going to be a big discussion about that. And that was, that was one hell of a smooth lob. That has to be one of the best lobs ever to Jason Morrow. It was the nicest touchdown of all time. So, you guys wanna, might want to re rewind that one. Cause how the hell did Jason Morrow burn the safety? I don't know. I seriously don't. So, um, oh yeah, I want to highlight another player of my defense. That will be my whole defense alignment unit. They were doing a hell of a job. Did a tremendous job pass rushing, run stopping, these guys were the key MVPs of my defense. On offense, it was Marshall Lynch and Doug Martin. Doug Martin ended up doing like around 99 yards with 9 rushes. You should be able to see the stats like on the top part of your screen and um, it will pop up in there. I think it's in this play. Another run down the middle with Doug Martin. That's all I did, just run down the middle. I mean, no problem. I know how to you know, penetrate those defenses with 3-4s and, and weird nickel formations. I mean, all I have to do is just go down the middle, just run some halfback misdirections, and they'll be done. They be done. Look at that. Cordell passing nice catch down the middle. Another tip, guys. Make sure you mix up your offenses. Do not keep on running the same plays over and over again. I don't run the same plays. I don't run my same plays until I get like, into the 10th play or 20th play, depending on the situation. So, I don't repeat my plays. You guys can go back and see how many plays have I repeated. None. It just takes 10 plays to actually repeat uh, what I've done before. So, yeah. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a, what I do in my scheme and offense. That one should have been a pick. There was like at least five moments where it should have been a pick. But, I guess my cornerbacks have brick hands. And without even trying, I ended up doing a touchdown here. I was like, what? 
the hell did just happen? And that's another weird side, guys. How is Marshall Lynch faster than Doug Martin? If Doug Martin has 92 speed and 96 acceleration, I'm like, I'm confused here. If you were to use these two guys, Marshall Lynch and Doug Martin, like I'm using them right now, you should be able to notice there's some kind of similarity going on, but Marshall Lynch has no speed on the stats, but yet he runs fast. I'm guessing that's the elite status thing going on there that uh, allows him to actually exceed. Anyways, another problem there on defense is that Levante Davis is not actually reacting towards those, those zones. So I might actually start Barr pretty soon. Anthony Barr. You guys remember that video. Um, I signed in both of them. And an incredible pick by Brandon Browner. Came in like a freaking... I don't know, but that was freaking weird. He came in like he hugged him around. And then he caught the ball right in front of his face. Mac, and just took it off his hands. I was like, damn. Brandon Browner? He actually wants a pick. So you might want to rewind that one up. So that's it guys, I ended up winning 30 some to 10, yeah 35 to 10, and um, I want to give the credit all to my running backs, I mean they were doing a hell of a job, Doug Martin and, and Marshall Lynch. Telling you, my running game has now improved after assigning Demarius and Anthony Davis, Marshall Lynch and Doug Martin, this has never happened like this before, not even season 2, even though I went undefeated in season 2, this never happened, but constantly, this one's happening constantly, I'm like, Okay, over and over again, 8 yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, it's all going well. I'm telling you guys, this is a Super Bowl contender team. I build it up and, damn, I'm proud of it. So, that's it for now, guys. If you guys got any questions about the gameplay, you know, please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you guys got any questions about my offensive schemes, defensive schemes, I'll let you know. But I'm not going to say any plays, though, because I'm not allowed to say my defensive uh, plays at all because of uh, certain someone so that one stays a secret but my offenses I might tell you guys you know what's up with my offense and how I run it and shit so sorry about the cuss word but yeah I feel like a boss winning all these I mean look at Doug Martin right there doing a hell of a job no receiving yards by none of my receivers but they still did good blocking and everything look kickley doing a hell of a job Demontre Moore look at all those sacks so that's it for now guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.